Hello and welcome. Today we are checking out Yes, Your Grace. This is being developed by Brave at Night and published by No More Robots. It is set to be out uh, early next year. We have a bit of an early early look at this one to take a look at it and see what it's all about. Basically, we are king of this uh, oh, the castle here and things are happening in the background. It's our job to sort of manage the kingdom, I suppose. We'll get some folks coming to us, asking us for questions and for help, dealing with all that, dealing with our daughters as well, and, and all the things that goes along with that. So, let's take a look at it and see what's going on here. Start a new game and try this thing out. It is, we're in Grevno, the capital of Davern, the year 1315. I'm sitting in my throne, and in walks my advisor, Audrey. Hello, Audrey. It is time, Your Grace. We'll go ahead and step on down. We go grab our crown over here. I think. There we go. Grab the crown and uh, get a bit rusty. Sure. Let's top it, toss it on our head. Obviously, we're king, you know. There we go. Yes, Audrey. Yes. No. Oh, yeah. It's time. Okay. Let's head on out. Okay. So here is my my kingdom. Let's go ahead, take a look at the castle walls and see what's going on. Your Grace, we found one of our soldiers hiding in a shed. There's too many of them. We have no chance of, of winning. He's a deserter. If you let him off, the rest may follow. However, our army is sparse as it is. We need every set of hands able to hold a sword, Your Grace. So I have a choice. Do I spare the guy? Even the, uh, the least brave soldiers are essential now. Or there's no place for cowards under my banner. We can just kill the guy right now. Um, uh, you know what? You know what, buddy? Get back up there. We'll defeat the enemy no matter the odds. Go stand for Davern. Thank you, Your Grace. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching you, buddy. Over here, you grace. Yes, yes, General. How bad is it, General? Our men are scared. It's the middle of the night, and yet it's so bright, as if Svarog himself walked our lands. The thin walls won't last long, and we lack any solid defense measures. We don't have enough men. Once they get in, we have nothing we can throw their way. Can you hear the chanting? They're getting ready. We better get started. Archers are waiting at your wall. At the wall, your grace. Okay, let's head on up. So time to wear his white flag is what he says. He wants to be a coward. But look, there's the army. This is sort of like a prologue kind of thing going on here. So we have to choose what we want to do. Put up a white flag. Uh, archers, sons of Davern. Uh, you know what? Archers? Mm -hmm. For Davern. There we go. Okay. Opening sequence. And into the proper game. One year earlier. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, here I come. Here I am, being a uh, being a good dad. We got Lorsulia, I think is her name. You found me. Well done, father. Come on now, Lucerulia. You, it's uh, not often we can do this. I told you, I don't want to play. Aren't you too old for this? Lorsulia, there's no way to speak to your father. Lorsulia is a stick in the mud. Shut it, Azalea. We can see you from miles away. Oh, come on, let's really, uh, just leave me be. What, what's wrong with you? Let's go talk to my wife here. Oh, you know, I'm not playing with you, darling. Sun finally came out. Let me enjoy it. Let's cruise on over here and find our daughter here. Gotcha. Should you, uh, you shouldn't have insulted your sister from across the gardens. She just has to ruin everything. She's so proud she couldn't even find a place to hide. I wasn't even trying to hide. I don't want to play. Next time you don't want to play, maybe try writing a formal announcement. Oh, wait, you can't write. Of course you can. I, you, yeah, okay. Cut it out, you two. I gotta go be king. You, you knock it off. She's a dumpling. Excuse me. Go over here, too. We have Sidani over here. And here's the little one. No, I'm doing so well. You must have cheated. Or peaked. I demand another trial of the game. How official. Maybe next time, Sidani. Okay. Enough of that. Oh, oh yes. I hate to interrupt, but the subjects will soon arrive. All right, enough games. The throne awaits. Week one in Grevno. Time to be king. Petitioners will start queuing shortly, Your Grace. We really need to shorten the visiting hours. Here come the folks of the day. I got some gold. I got some supplies. I've got some um, military. Some happiness of my people. Let's chat with my wife here. Aurelia. You want to speak to Lorsulia, my dear? I've tried talking to her, but she just won't respond. I don't know what's got into her recently. Maybe she'll open a bit more to you. She's probably wandering around at the wall. Of course, my sweetest. Uh, next, tax man. Bring the collected tax, Your Grace. For the past week, it will be five gold and five supplies. Thank you, sir. Dungeon guard. 
Your grace, bad news from the dungeons. Recent floods have soaked into the ground. Now the sun is out, and the water's gone, but the walls have collapsed. Only one cell is currently functional. You should come down and see for yourself, your grace. Next. Your grace, my daughter's wedding is at hand. Congrats. The problem is, we don't have enough gold or supplies to make a worthy feast. What will my daughter-in-laws think of our family? We want to hire a band to buy some of that fancy wine on the market. We only need five gold and ten supplies. That's a lot of stuff. No, you have my blessing. Not, not my stuff. Kingdom has more important matters at hand. No, I made him a little mad. Wish your daughter the best from me. You skimp us a little gold? Shouldn't the king support his people in hard times? I can't even feed my guests with the king's blessing. Audrey, kill him. Get out. You're, you're lucky. All right, peasant, what do you want? Your grace, I come here representing my village. We want to ask you for five gold to help us gather tools and resources required to build an inn. To really use it. Uh, an inn's not really my priority, you know. Um, five gold? That's cheap. Okay. Make it the best inn around. Oh, we surely will. Who's this? Who are you? Monsters, what? Beasts dressed in black. They came in the night. Spread like a shadowy whisper. Unseen, unheard, until they arrived. They attacked the village. All slaughtered all the peasants. We heard the dreadful screams of the slain. Your base, your grace, I, I beg you, you must send your men. Check what happened. Find those responsible. Tell me more. Who are they? Bright, red heads, short but sharp fangs. Hundreds of them. Gleaming metal for their claws. I've never seen anything like this. Um, my agent will check out the village. General should be able to deal with these bandits easily. Thank you, Your Grace. I don't think he's going to do it very easily. All right, the general's been sent. You can see I have a general down here. He's away now for a week. He's going to be gone. Uh, but we got things to do. Audrey, going to be a service. Yeah, uh, tell me about this kingdom we're in here right now. Uh, well, tell me about these uh, the castle visitors. We got some petitioners coming in. These are peasants, merchants, other folks. They all have problems. They want, to s want my help, basically. Um, some of them might be sketchy, he says. What about agents? We can send our agents to help the petitioners, which is what I just did with my general there. It takes time for them to go, which is a month, for instance. Uh, we have to pay them, of course. And uh, fellow lords, I guess, offer a lot of support. Maybe not fellow lords, but my lords. Uh, offer a lot of support and resources, and most importantly, the, and the armies that they control. Each month, they, we will receive sums of gold and supplies from our allies. Upon making a treaty, they will also offer one off boost to our army. There's a catch. Usually make it uh, very difficult to sign the alliance. Okay. Okay. Enough of that. Uh, about the kingdom? No, no. That's good. Okay, let's go ahead out and find... We can see our archives down here, and it tells us everything that's going on. We can see all about our, uh, our daughters and our wife and monsters around, which is strange because I thought the game was pretty well set. In my test game, the monster thing didn't happen, so I guess we'll have to figure out what's going on there. We have help with a wedding, which I ignored. We also have a new inn for the village, which is also a new thing I haven't seen yet. But let's go check on that dungeon also. Let's head on out of here. This is uh, month one, or week one, of, uh, of the game so far. We stopped by the gardens first, I suppose. Hello, uh, Azalea. Yes, father. Uh, what's with that fight in the gardens? You called her like a duty head or something. What's up with that? You and Losulia used to be best friends. You mean, why is Losulia such a big baby? Yeah, that's, that's the idea. She's annoying, is all. Um... This isn't going anywhere, is it? You're not going to let her off, are you? Not until she stops being such a pain. If she wasn't so annoying, I wouldn't have to, have to insult her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, exactly. Uh, stay safe, okay? All right, let's go this way. Let's stop by, uh, let's stop by the dungeons. Over here? Yeah. Worse than I thought. We can get it fixed, but we'll need, uh, some equipment. I'm no man for this job, so we can, uh, need to get an engineer, too. Sounds like it's gonna be costly. Yeah. 500 gold to fix the cell. Well, we got 50. Uh, just, I'm just looking around. I wonder what this peasant want. Good God, I could have been me. Your Grace, do you see what happened here? If I was in the other cell, I would have been crushed. This, this is a sign. God has forgiven my sins. I shall serve the mighty ones. I will dedicate my life to those in need. I mean, if I could get out of here, please. Uh, why are you in here again? I uh, bumped into the innkeeper on the street and stepped onto his toe. How dare you sell such falsehoods. He ordered a gallon of beer, drank it all by himself, and didn't even have the gold to pay for it. I know the innkeeper. He was pretty upset. Oh, yes, I remember. Grace, I've been enlightened. I won't ever do such a stupid thing again. I will serve a higher purpose now. Just maybe let me out. Well, you lie to me, and then... No, no, you get what you're deserved. I think you will need some more time to think about your actions. But I'm the chosen one. You're the chosen liar is what you are. Let's get out of here. 
I ain't got 500 gold, so let's stop by the castle wall, I suppose. And uh, head on up. There's something we can really click in here. This game has a bit of bit of history. Uh, this was on Kickstarter five years ago, and it was supposed to be it's supposed to be delivered five years ago. It's kind of a debacle, basically, what's going on here. Uh, and it was essentially a dead project. But uh, I guess I was reading the whole big article on what what all happened here. And I guess the uh, the devs sort of the things fell apart, but I guess they continued working on it and found a new publisher, which is now why the game is now getting developed. They actually offered refunds to the Kickstarter folks, so they seem to have done done right. So I'm uh, that's why I'm recording it now. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we'll see how it goes here in early 2020 when it's supposed to come out. Uh, hey, you, what's your name? You stop fighting with your sister, okay? You want to talk about what happened in the gardens? No. I'm fine, father. Um, so, uh, Azalea's been kind of nasty, eh? Why is she being so mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, something's wrong. Why don't you talk to me? Everything's fine. Don't you have things to do? I actually, I do, yes, but, uh, why don't you play with us? We were having fun times. Remember the best spots, remember? I'm not five anymore. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll see you around. Sure, she says. Mm, gotta watch that one. Okay, let's head on out of here, and I think we can just go hit this. Yeah, next week. Week two, Grevno. What do we have here? General? No sign of the monsters. We did stumble upon the bandits. These bandits, though, they were pillaging the village. Red head, sharp teeth? Crest of Redovia? Thought you could only find one in books and old manuscripts. Well, it seems like we have one here, too. Tell me. Uh, where are you? are you? Is this the red? Oh, red as in like red hair. Uh, where are you from? Your man is right. Redovia is my home. And soon yours too. Ha! Why, why are you here? Just making a living. One man might call it plunder. I would call it hard work. Where's your leader? You're just a barbaric thief. We are a free people. We don't bow to kings or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. Bold and stupid. Yeah, you keep quiet over there, Audrey. This is my time. I heard enough. Can't allow barbarians to stalk our lands. Plundering and killing innocent men? There's no question this justice needs to be dealt with to this man. To the dungeon? Execute him or no my... Uh, you know what? We can't put him in the dungeon. We don't have any extra cells. So I guess, uh, to the chopping block, sir. I'd say no my mercy. No, no. Uh, yeah. No Redovian scum will threaten the crown. Behead him. My brothers will hear about this. And you will feel their poisonous bite. I need to see my wife about this. Uh, sorry you had to see that, Lucilia. <laughs> Audrey, what's going on? Redovians. Here? How would they get through the mountains? Why would they threaten a war? That's a lot of questions, Audrey. Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm just puzzled. It might be reasonable to start thinking about renewing some old treaties. Talk to old friends. See who could give us a hand. With our recent resources, a war with uh, war would bring certain defeat. I'll make some preparations. Okay, get out of here. Yes, Lucilia? Yes? Azalea sneaked out last night, last week. I ran into her while she was going back into the chamber, all laughed and a little tipsy, I think. She wouldn't say where she's been, but Sadani, as thick as she is, spills everything to me in the morning. These two chit-chat all the time. I don't think I realize. Thick? Talk about that. She's just like six years old. It's gotten into you, Larsulia. And then he sneaks out to some wedding. Gets all drunk up, but I'm the one bad one all of a sudden. I better talk to Azalea about this. Your girls are driving me mad one day. Going to drive me away. I'm already mad. Tax collector, hey, bring me some money, buddy. Past week, we gave me five gold and five supplies. Well, I could use a little more than that. Now we got a peasant here. What do you want? My dear son is nowhere to be found. Uh, he's a really daft little boy, but still, he's my son. Uh, can I ask you for us to find? I ask you to help us find him, Your Grace. Is there a chance you could do so? Um. Um. I won't be able to. What? Daft little boy? What's wrong with you? Um. Fine. Take my money. I believe this should be enough to cover your loss. Your Grace, do you really think a gold can replace my son? I better look elsewhere. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> like, I meant gold to, like, help with a search party, not just, like, pay for the li <laughs> Lord Etten, what do you want? My name is Etten. I'm the Lord of Bronca, Your Grace. I hope you're as straightforward as possible. Someone has kidnapped my, kidnapped my daughter, and they expect me to pay 20 gold to get her back. The thing is, I track them down, and I know, I know where they keep her. I planned everything out. I just need one of your generals to help me take her back. Or I could just pay the ransom. Either way, I need your help, Your Grace. Well, we do need allies, right? So, um, two weeks without a general? 
I'm not sure who this guy is. This looks, looks like a mouse. I'm not sure what that is there. Uh, we do have agents. I haven't shown this off yet. We have witches, apparently. It's going to show up at some point. We do have our general. General number one. That's his name. And some hunters that will show up somewhere along the way. Uh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. Uh, general sent. Okay, that's what I want to do anyway. Uh, this one. Go away. Go away. Okay, okay. Yeah, go. Yeah, go get, go get him, general. Hey, Lars. I fear for my life. I think someone is trying to get me. Huh? I think I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How would I know? I haven't done anything, right? I better be going. What? What are you talking about? Why is everyone around here about me crazy? Let's head on out. We got a few things we can check out here. We got throne room. We got the uh, oh the bed chamber. Let's let's check out the bed chamber. Uh, hello, darling. Um, foreign barbarians visit us this week, by the way. Rodovians have come here. That can't be right. You think that it's about your... our promise? It might be. What do you think? Thirteen years ago, we promised our unborn child's hand to a thug. Bayron, wasn't it? Doesn't matter. After thirteen years, a Rodovian shows up in our castle. Hmm. Yes, Lasulia will become a... soon become a woman. And we will need to find her a husband. And Bayron, the thug, will arrive to make me fulfill my promise. Yeah, why did we do that? What got into us? How could we have promised our daughter's hand to a Radovian? With a knife to the throat, I'm not sure what else we could have done. I think our daughter will marry some barbaric thug, though. We can't let this happen, Eric. Don't worry, we will solve this. What about that witch? Remember that curse? I don't even want to think about this. Just hope the curse is nothing but a hoax. And see how things with the thug turn out. Okay, why now? If Bayer never shows up to claim our daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe him. We just need to play stupid. Unless he shows up with an army. Don't be silly now. How can a commoner afford an army? Even we can't. How can Rodovians get to Davern? Anything seems possible at this stage. You did send bandits to the dungeons, right? I let him see justice. I mean, you should have questioned him first. One less barbarian to worry about, though. Uh, what are you holding up? Uh, I don't know. It's so unreal. Marry a prince? A lord, even? But let her marry a thug? We can't do this. It'll be fine. I won't let her be taken away. See you later. I think we can get... Yes? I'm terrified. I got, I got this. I got this. I'm gonna go see anything that's near we can click on. I don't think so. Okay, out we go. So we're offering up my daughter, eh? No, uh, let's go check out the gardens here. Hey there, hey you. You the one who snuck out last night, eh? Or last week? There was a wedding in the village. From what I heard... It could have been even better if my father wasn't too stingy to provide for it. Excuse me. Um. Uh, uh, how do you know this? Uh, I heard people say is all. Come on now. I know about the wedding. Masulia told me what happened. How could she know anyway? Oh, Sedani. Yep, Sedani. Um. You're too careless, Azalea. Seeing it out at night, insulting your sister. What's next? I don't know. Murder, maybe. Enough of your jokes, Azalea. You know what's out there? What could have happened if someone found a princess by herself in a village? All the drunkards, thugs. Nothing happened, Father. I was dressed differently. I know what I'm doing. All I wanted was a little fun. You said you got drunk. Oh, she said you got drunk. That's a lie. I know what I'm doing. I can take care of myself. How many times? Lorsulia. Since she turned 13, she thinks you will make her uh, marry some fat, dumb prince and send her off to another castle. If she intends to be such a lousy... Yeah, maybe it would be for the best. Is that why she's been acting up lately? I suppose so. It doesn't change the fact that she's so infuriating. And it doesn't change the fact that you didn't stop with the name calling. You're confined to the castle. No more, no more horse riding. That'll show you. I'll tell Audrey to sp spend your riding lessons for now, just in case you had an idea to ride off to Praxis or Calidur. What supposed to do in these in these walls? Stupid Lorsulia. I'll teach her a lesson. You, don't call her stupid. She's nice. I'm going to go talk to her, though. Okay, okay. Just being a dad, you know, in uh, in uh, the castle. Let's go see if we can go to... Where's she at? Maybe here? I bet you she's back here. Let's have a chat. Hey, you. Oh, it's you. Yeah, it's me. Uh, Azalea told me what's going on. I think we figured it out that your mother anyway. I'm sorry we didn't realize earlier. What? Why is that? Um, you're a grown-up woman now. She's 13. Soon lords and knights will line up to ask for your hand. I, uh, you know I will have to choose someone. 
But we can wait. I promise we won't move forward if you're not ready. Time will show. Uh, bye. She's moody. Okay, let's get out of here. Can we uh, end this? Yeah, next week. Week three. Hello, bird. That just terrified me. We've crossed the mountain trail. We will come for what was promised, for the gods have graced us with our strength. Bayron, king of Radovia. So they have a king after all. And where, uh, where there's a king, an army follows. What promise are they babbling about anyway? Uh, I, I don't know. Whatever their imagine imaginings are, we'll probably come looking for them. Problem is, our treasury has seen better times. Seeking allies might be our best bet. I will let you get on with the audits. I'll make some preparations in the meantime. I'll be in the council room, you grace. Okay. You go do that. Taxman, how's it going? Past week will be five gold and five supplies. Yes, peasant? Injustice and hunger have struck our village. Men dressed in black came and took our stock. Hardly anything left to feed the dogs now. I want ten sacks of supplies. That way we can just keep our children fed. Uh, how about five? Oh, we will be. We will. Yeah, yeah. See, he's happy. Merchant? Hello. Come with a business proposition, Your Grace. I need ten gold to hire men and buy resources to build a new tavern in Bronca. You see, the tavern will serve more than just a way to, for locals to get drunk. The village is really well positioned. It has many visitors, but they never stay for long. The new cha tavern will change that and will guarantee a steady income. I'll share the profits once I start making money on the business. Um, that sounds risky, but I'll try it. What's well, money, you know? When there's an army marching on our gates. Wonderful, you won't regret it. I'll get right on with the work. Okay. Going to work well. Sure, sure it will. Hello, peasant. Disease is crawling in our village. Nothing serious, I don't think. But fevers and sneezes are all over the place. Appeared out of nowhere. As if a dark force brought it upon us. Ooh. Ooh. Um, take these supplies. Make sure everyone has access to what they need. Thank you. We're by, beyond content. Hope the spirits will keep you well. Well, I hope so, too. Uh, Audrey wanted to see me. Okay. Find him in the council chamber. Yeah, let's go over there. Get out of here, bird. Let's go this way. He's in the council chamber. Which is... There. Okay. Hello. Organize a scout. He will let us know what we're up against. Take a look at the map, your grace. We can talk to the nearby lords, but first, I would suggest inviting Talus. You will find him in Hagos, east of our castle. Oh, yeah? Oh. Here it is. Okay. That guy. Uh, can I send him a... Send a pigeon to invite him? Sure. Okay. Visit us within a week. With his army, we should be able to repel Rodovia, no matter what they come with. Thank you, Audrey. Um... Tell me about our battle preparations we got here. Uh, is our army ready to confront the enemy? Uh, we don't know yet what they're up against, uh, but with our current army, we couldn't defend against peasants with shovels. Uh, Zvetovid himself would have to help us. Finding allies would be vital if we want to stand a chance. Can our castle defend us? The current state of the walls isn't great, but we shouldn't worry about it. I think it would be best to take the battle outside the castle. We could create a choke point at the foot of the mountains. I will prepare the, the, the plans. Um, okay, let's talk about something else. Nothing. Uh, hey, Sadani. How's it going? Hey, um... Hey, potato head. <laughs> no, I have a normal head. Yes, like a normal potato. Uh, you're great. Uh, you probably shouldn't be playing here. But this is my most cherished place in the castle. Fortress. Uh, components of the chamber are of most interest. Oh, you have the most finest items here, father. Fine, fine, you can stay. Don't damage anything. Okay. Um, books. Lots of books. Okay, anything else we need, to, we need to do here? Oh, no. Next week? I guess we can run around and chat with people if you want to, but nah, no need for that. Let's see what's going on here. General's back. Your news about Lord Etten's case, Your Grace. With his plan, me and my squad managed to take his daughter back. Oh, good. Good. Audrey. End of the month, Your Grace. Starting next week, we'll add up all your income and expenses for you. We need to pay our agents. But we will also gain income from our allies, Your Grace. Okay. King Talus is here. Hey, King. How did any light can get through those these windows? These halls used to shine, Eric. Father? Yes? Look what she did. Azalea has put feces? Feces? Is that what that is? Under my pillow. How can I ever wash it off? 
Why did I tell you I told her on her? What? Uh, not now. N uh, not now. I'm busy. You never have time. We'll deal with that later. Scuttle off for now. But, ugh. Can't even control your children. Then I'm surprised you still sit where you do. And then I'm standing here where I am. Forgive me. We have a lot going on recently. I'm asking if you're going to make me stand like a commoner here. Of course. Let's talk in the council room. Oh, boy. Someone locked the doors. You have a lot of books. What's she doing here? Are you letting children play with your archives? Girl, be gone. Are you a king or a blasted nanny, Eric? Excuse me? What can be so important that you couldn't just send me a pigeon? I'll be straightforward with this. I need an army. Rodovia has threatened me and my family. Rodovia? Here? Yeah. They're simple men, untrained. Tell you what. I'll give you 3,000 soldiers. My army can deal with anything that throws it this way. What? Just like that? Well, of course not, you see. He's always bothering me. It's about time he grew up. A wife would keep him busy, out of my way. Osulia would be a good fit for him. She could teach him a thing or two. I also want access to the fine collection of books you have here. Plus, anything else you can find. You still seek cures for your wife? Her condition hasn't improved? Well, that doesn't concern you. You get an army, I get Osulia, and access to these books. So an army for a marriage in return. Catch on quickly. Is this a deal, then? I don't believe you have much choice, Eric. I don't really have much choice, do I? Um, uh, <laughs> sorry, daughter. Wasn't she 13? Uh, you know, it's it's, thir it's the year's 1300. It's the way things work. So, it's a deal. No choice. Great. I'll send an army straight away, but I want to immediate access to the archives. The marriage can be organized later. Let me get lost in your books, then. I think I'll start from this room. Let's see. What do we have here? Um, how's your wife? I haven't seen Paloma in years. Does this illness persist? Why are you so curious about her? Yes, she's still sick. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Like I told you already, it's none of your business. Um, find anything yet? A healing fever. How to prevent dys dysentery. Something about malaria. All these are useless. Uh, how, who's who's Evo? Let's know a little bit more about your son, you know? Before the marriage. What's there to say? Evo has a royal blood, and I pay enough for his masters to know that he's at least as half smart as I am. Why don't you just leave me alone, Eric? I'm trying to focus here. What's going on in the Tana? Does uh, Elis and Baravia resolve their wars yet? What were they fighting about? Land? Witchcraft? I don't know. I don't care. I have my own problems. Everything right in Hagos? I always wanted to visit your beautiful town. Why don't you go and see for yourself what it's like? It's really better than this rat hole. Excuse me? I'm going to ask about your wife again. <laughs> All right. I'll, I don't know about this guy. Uh, maybe his maybe his son's nice. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, this way. No, this way. <laughs> well, I think I'm gonna have a long conversation with uh, with what's her face. Uh, you know, my daughter. Who's this, General? Your Grace? Uh, yeah, nothing. Is she up there again? Keep up the good work, you know. I'm pretty sure that's a mouse. There she is. Hey, um, so uh, remember the thing we talked about last week? It's you. Something I need to tell you. We have no choice. You must marry Ivo, the Prince of Atana. It's... I'm sorry. What do you mean? Don't I get a say in this? We need this marriage to secure an army that will defend us. A war is coming. So I'm going to be sacrificed? Do you even consider any other options? Do you even try to offer something other than your daughter? Well, I knew it. I knew the day I'm old enough, you just sell me to the highest bidder. You've just been waiting for this. You can't wait to get rid of me, can you? I wish I was a common girl, living in a village, nothing to worry about, being able to marry the one I love. Not some snob I've never met. Stupid wedding. Uh, you know, um... Uh... Uh... <laughs> you know what? It's either that, or we're all gonna be dead. So I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. Anything else on the map? Not ally with him. We can figure out... We need to figure out we get an alliance, I guess, with him. Um, this is where he's at right now, right? Oh, that's, that's the map. Okay, we don't care about the map. Oh, yeah. Here. Can I not just leave here? Can we go this... Let's go see what we gotta do next. Oh, you know, we're at 29 minutes, so we're gonna call this one here, actually. So, um... Let's call it a day. Thanks again for watching. And, oh, see what Lord Eden has to say, yes? Lord Eden, hang on a second. What do you have? My daughter's back. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. Goons didn't even know what hit them. We hit them hard. If it wasn't for your general, I'm not sure my plan would've worked. Take this gold as a thank you, your grace. What? Eight bucks? Thanks. Tax man. Five gold. Five supplies. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Battle preparations. 
Um, we're ready to defend them, right? Because we've got lots of people, right? Okay. Um, that's all for now. Thanks again for watching. This is Yes, Your Grace. That's come out early next year. I'll see you next time.